Hello, Assalamu alaikum students. So welcome back with another video. So in this video as well, uh, I'm going to try to wrap it up really quickly. A very short, short of videos I'm going to make. And uh, also in this video, we're going to be specifically learning about that, how you can make notes and study for exams, right? So uh, a very long awaited video, of course, the dawn of Islam. So let's begin this topic. Now, this entire, uh, let's say, you know, this first introduction over here, it's just the part of introduction. It's not something that you need to remember, uh, you need to keep in mind, but for the sake of understanding of the chapter that we're going to be discussing, the things that we're going to be discussing further. So it is actually telling in this entire uh, introduction, it's uh, telling us about the very uh, the importance of the religion Islam, uh, the significance of the Holy Prophet, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and uh, how the Islam is a tolerant religion, uh, and uh, how uh, from you know from all the times how the islam it was evolving so let's give it a read really quickly it's going to be a very short video in the introduction so yeah i'm going to select my pen so now let's start in the 7th century ce a revolutionary change took place in the sands of arabia hazrat muhammad peace be upon him uh, brought islam the religion revealed to him by allah which would spread rapidly in the world okay uh, the appeal of islam lay in the tolerance in the tolerance justice and equality for all humankind so see that is a catching phrase over here the main phrase that the religion islam and uh, its importance lies within the justice equality uh, for human beings the tolerance uh, yep that's pretty much it about it right then the second point says that islam unite islam united the varying tribes of arab islam united the varying tribes of arab that means that uh, the Islam itself as a religion. So even before the uh, religion Islam, there were many different tribes in the Saudi in the Arabian Peninsula. Uh, you know, there were different really rel people of different religions, different castes. So Islam as a religion, it united all of them together. Um, in Islam, you might have read about the Quraysh Kabila, the Quraysh tribe, and you know different people uh, from there, right? So yeah. Furthermore, who accepted Islam and its beliefs in oneness of God? And made the followers exceptionally keen to take the message of Islam in other world, in, in other parts of world. Within a century, the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, death, the Arabs had conquered a huge area, uh, ancient and wealthy Persian Empire, and largely part of Eastern Euro Roman Empire. The simplicity, practicality, uh, and values of the Islamic faith attracted many people who accepted the religion in the countries that the Arab and Turkish armies conquered okay yes we know that uh, you know other chapters we read after this chapter uh because i'm making this video the very uh the, i'm making this video when we have we have already you know covered the entire book all the 15 chapters okay so we have read in these other chapters as well that uh, the in the persian empire uh and uh, the arab the the delhi sultanate the afghans afghans and the delhi sultanate and you know the social and uh, societal changes that were taking place and everything related to that however if you want to mark some important points from here so it could be an important point here could be let's say the oneness of god within the century okay within the century of the holy prophet's death the arabs conquered a huge area of the ancient and wealthy persian empire and the eastern europe empire european empire okay yep so that's something important and uh, okay yeah that's that's pretty much it about it because this is just the introduction so, yep, uh, see you in the next video.